Joe Roth here, Austin Town Fitch, now the University of Akron, the Zip. Uh, Joe, you played all nine positions tonight, something that we set out to accomplish last year. Kind of got there, but not what we did tonight. Nine positions, you nailed it, pitched in the uh, the ninth inning. What was going through your mind the entire time? Um, the only thing that was going through my mind was just uh, having fun, just smiling the whole time, spending time with a bunch of new guys that I got to meet, and I couldn't ask for a better group of guys that I got to play with tonight. So one of the things that people may or may not know, you were one of my first interviews on YSN. We were at a, in a hotel lobby. You were representing Team Youngstown at Pony League World Series. A lot's changed between then and now. Uh, what are some of the things you're most proud of that you've accomplished over the last four years at Austin Town Fitch and throughout the Summer League Bowl? Just uh, some of the, oh, one of the most is just creating bonds with the team. Just every every person I got to meet, I got to be friends with. That's And have a long-lasting friendship with them. I couldn't ask for anything better. Winning World Series with all of them, just a bunch of stuff like that. I couldn't ask for a better group of guys to do it with. 49 other guys in the dugouts tonight. <laughs> uh, a lot of jerseys, a lot of uniforms. I saw a jersey swap with you and Jason Treveri. Obviously, you guys are very close. Um, an all-star game can just be an all-star game, as we know, but an, a little bit extra and a little bit uh, special tonight. Talk about the, your, your demeanor and, and kind of going through it. Um, it was very special to me because it's going to be the last time I get to wear a, a Fitch Falcon jersey. Um, I just, it's going to be hard for me to let this go, but I can't wait to see what the future holds with um, Akron. I just, I'm very excited to go there and see, see all the new guys that we're, we're going to be playing with kids out there who are aspiring to be D1 or just go on to play baseball at the next level, what advice would you give them as a guy who, you know, went through the trenches, went through the war of the recruitment process and finally found a place that you fell in love with? Um, one thing is always listen to your heart. Um, that's a big thing because when I went to Akron, I felt like home and my parents felt like home. So that was a big thing to me, but always never give up. That's what I always had to follow because sometimes I wanted to give up on myself, but always through late night talks with my dad, late night talks with my family in general, who always told me to keep working hard and never give up.